On the 14th of May, 1800, members of Congress and the other branches of government did a lot of last-minute packing. For that day was the last day the federal government called Philadelphia home. Everything was moved to the swampy new capital of Washington. Under the Articles of Confederation, the new nation met several places, but with the coming of the Constitution, everything was set up in New York City. It was there at Federal Hall that George Washington was sworn in. Things stayed in New York for a decade. Then everything moved to Philadelphia and finally to Washington. But when people converged on Washington, they found an unfinished Capitol building and a city built on a gnat-infested swamp. A plan was announced, though, to drain everything. The original plan is commemorated in a park downtown. Today, Washington, D.C.'s metro area is home to over six million people and has some of the worst traffic jams in the nation. I'm Dennis Daly.